Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Thanks so much for joining me. So today we are going to be continuing the dechroming of the Mini Cooper SF55. I know I've got a couple of extra things I need to do. One is the dechroming the, the belt line, which I'll be doing this weekend, so there'll be another video coming on that. But today we're going to be having a quick video on how to fit the Kill All Chrome grill strip to the front of the car. Got this earlier on in the week, so let's get it unboxed and fitted to the car. So this is what we get from uh, Kill All Chrome. Uh, it arrived really quickly, within probably a couple of days. Um, so it arrived in all packaged up. So we just open up this. And simply we have, as usual, just some packaging. Uh, we also have the obligatory uh, mini bits uh, air freshener, which is cool, always good. And also the standard leaflet from Kill All Chrome as well. So, and this is the grill strip. So. Um, it comes with a protective coating which we will um, remove and also a simple 3M strip inside to make sure it sticks to the car um, correctly. So what we'll do is we will get the, the grill strip all wiped down with uh, some isopropanol alcohol making sure it's absolutely clean uh, and then we'll get this fitted to the car and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so the first step is to wipe this down with some some IPA or isopropanol alcohol. I've just got some blue roll here um, and we'll put some IPA on this and get the grill, strip, the grill strip all wiped down. Always good to give this a good wipe down, get all the contaminants off the grill strip before you stick it to it. And that goes, I guess that goes for anything that you're using a 3M tape to stick to the car. Um, you need to make sure that that is absolutely spotless before you're sticking it to the car. Because otherwise it is gonna come off. It is gonna get attacked by the, by the contaminants and not stick for the same length of time. Fine, so we've got that all wiped down. Just take another piece. Just give it another wee quick wipe. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just get the three M tape. Hallelujah. Okay, so before we just this on, we just want to make sure we test fit. Really fine needle nose pliers you need to just get this strip off. There we go. And the idea is that you just Stick that on and clip on and then what to do is just work it work it along the adhesive strip where you know that is along the top. Just work that in and just make sure that your it's adhesive it's sticking adhering to the the grill strip. That's us all stuck down. And for the moment of truth, I always love this bit about this. That wee end bit's not sticking on as well as the rest of it. I don't quite know what's going on there. screen protector off a phone. So satisfying. And that is the grill strip fitted. I think that's looking pretty pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. 
and you can see just ever so slightly a wee bit of chrome just along the top there which is not ideal might just be the way I fitted it but I'm not sure I'm not sure if that was my fault or not seems to have certainly stuck on pretty pretty well feel it underneath as well so that is the grill strip fitted I'll give you a closer look at that I'm pretty impressed with how that's looking. I'll show you that wee chrome bit. I'm not sure if that's just there. I don't know if you can see that. Just slightly in between the grill and where the, the grill strip is. Just it goes to a long. You can just see it. Just ever so slightly. I mean, you're not. You're going to have to be looking for it, but I think the overall look is is spot on. The last one of the last de chroming things we need to do to the car. So it's looking good happy with that right guys so we've got the grill strip fitted to the front of the car i think that's looking pretty good and um, as we added extra in this video what i'm going to do is i'm as you know i'm going to go i'm going all black or all gloss black with the with the mini and de-chroming it and the last thing is going to be the, probably the belt line which we'll do shortly but i also came across the um as we call them scoosher in, in uh, Scotland, uh, the scusher covers, if you like, uh, or the washer jet covers, they also do these in carbon fibre and gloss black. So I came across them, they're not very expensive on there, I think they were, I think they were 15 quid, minus the 10% that you get if you're using the code, the coupon code JAM10, J-A-M-10. So it gives you a couple of quid off, but these showed here right onto the top of these once I've, I've wiped it down with isopropanol, and these will go on there and will complete the kind of gloss black look that I'm looking for. So um, I'll give you a closer look at these, get these cleaned and fitted and I'll, um, I'll see you in a minute. Now these are quite interesting because you would think that they are uh, plastic covers but these are actually metal that have been painted gloss black. It's got a protective cover on it at the moment as you can probably see but um, they are actually metal which I think will give a, a really nice shine to them. So, um, and inside you've got a couple of 3M strips just there that will adhere onto the onto the black plastic ones that we've got there already. So just thought it was really interesting. You would expect they would be plastic, but no, they are in fact um, metal. Um, so that's that's quite nice. They've got a good, really good feel to them, quite substantial. So that's all good. So we'll get the these rubbed down with isopropanol alcohol and get these get these fitted to the car. And what I generally do is I just peel off the protective coating just ever so slightly. Just so that it's not, you know, you're not messing about when it's, when you're fitting it to the car. So I'll just make sure that they are you just literally stick over the top of the existing ones. And just make sure again that you're pressing down, making sure that you're getting good adhesion between the 3M pads, which are um, slightly padded, so they're not just the, the flat sticker. So there's just a wee bit of padding to it this time round. What we'll do is we'll just take that off. Okay, and that's one fitted. That's them. That's them fitted. I'll give you a wee closer look. Not sure if you're going to see that because of the sun. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Complete the look. Good, one step closer to completely de-chromed. Yeah, looking pretty smart. 
Also, another thing that I fitted, um, I didn't make a video about, but I fitted the gel inserts to the, the side repeaters that I got. So, I got the the red the Cooper S gel insert from, again, Kilo Chrome, um, as if it would be from anywhere else with me, let's, let's face it. But, um, but yeah, so I got the gel inserts. I think they look okay. I'm not sure the red is quite... I don't know what it is about it. I, I don't know if it's maybe lacking the, the chrome... Uh, border that's maybe thrown it off. I don't know. It just looks a bit kind of looks a bit weird. But you know, I think it's from a distance. I think it looks pretty smart. Makes the S pop. So pretty pretty pleased with that. So just if you compare the red on that with the red on that, I just think because the the Cooper S on the front and rear does have this chrome border. Yeah, I'm not sure. It may just be me. But really pleased with that. A couple of extra things we want to do to the mini to get it to its finished state, if you like, or, or what I'm prepared to do at the moment. So just the the, the belt line, which I'll get done this weekend because it's now warm enough, and also I've got a load of a heat gun, which I've heard you do need to to get out of any of the any kinks and things. But once we get that uh, on there, I think that will be the mini pretty much all dechromed. And complete. Pretty pleased with that. Right, guys, that's it for another video. Thank you very much for watching. If you found it useful, um, give us a thumbs up. And also, if you've not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the the bell for notifications for when I upload new videos. A bit of a, a milestone, if you like, for the channel. Um, I took a look that took a look at the other day, and I found that uh, I was now over 100 subscribers. I think I'm now at 107 subscribers, so I'm absolutely delighted with that. Never thought we'd get to that stage. So, thank you all very much for your support. I welcome any comments you've got about anything about the mini or what I've done today. Please uh, feel free to comment below, and I'll do my best to reply. Uh, but yeah, I think that's really good. Um, I think the mini's taking shape. A um, couple of extra wee dechrome bits done today, and again, we'll do the, the, the dechroming of the belt line this weekend. So, expect that video probably sometime next week. But as for today, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.